If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll get yourself an extra 5% off. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 24 of Luis Suarez's Road to Redemption. In the last one we were able to continue our good form, get back-to-back -back wins and actually pull a very, very good player in a pack. It's Chelsea Drogba. He's valued at around about 60k at the minute, 50-60k on Xbox at least. And of course, transferred card come from Galatasaray back to Chelsea for a season. And uh, hopefully he can make the difference in us or for us in this game today. The first game we come up against an extremely strong side. Three team of the seasons in there, including... Using James Rodriguez and Matuidi. A couple of international man of the matches in uh, the first one of Neuer and the first one of Cruz. Although uh, they have an 88 and an 87 respectively as well. And as you can see of course pace up wide with Royce and uh, Lucas as well. And he was actually going to get himself off to the better start. Decent strike there from Falcao. Draws a good save out of Tim Howard. And he's going to pick up a corner. And uh, David Luiz is going to be on the ball trying to challenge in the air. He just gets beaten. All ends up by uh, Dante, I think it is. And uh, he powers himself 1-0 in front in the 8th minute. And unfortunately, we find ourselves falling behind early on. But Ramirez plays a great ball over the top to Fellaini a few minutes later. Shocks off the challenge. Thiago Silva is going to turn inside the defender. Not once, but twice. And then rifle the ball into the back of the net. There was a bit of lag in this game as you could see there and you'll see it again as I try and celebrate just a little bit of glitchy lag which was quite frustrating to play with but so we're trying to do the best of our or the best of jobs with it of course it's the same for both sides so I can't really complain too much and David Luiz picks up a goal here dropping uh, to him on the edge of the box from a corner in the 63rd minute he's able to put it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 and I've been completely dominant for the majority of this game but this guy you can tell where the aid is going to come right about now, as uh, Kyle Walker gets possession of the ball and then in the same motion loses possession of the ball and passes it off to uh, to Marco Royce down the line. Of course, he whips it in. The man at the front post doesn't challenge for the ball properly and he scores an equaliser in the 95th minute. So we only get a point from that game where we fully deserved all three. So that kind of put me in a bit of a bad mood for the next game. So I was going to hopefully try and uh, use that uh, disappointment and, uh, I guess, anger at the game to uh, to try and get a decent result out of the next one. Again, we're playing uh, Cam Drogba and striker Luis Suarez, but at some point in the next game, I did actually switch them round in-game so that they maintained full chem. And so Drogba was playing striker Luis Suarez at Cam. But we come up against the La Liga side, a really strong La Liga side. Benzema upgraded Hesse and, uh, of course, Pedro out wide right. And then Dani Alves, Mascherano, uh, not Suarez, Ramos and uh, Marcelo were his back line. And uh, this guy was not necessarily good at the game, but he had a lot of things go his way, shall we say. You can see in that particular instance for that first goal, I was in control of Gary Cahill, hammering B for him to try and clear the ball, and he just completely ignored it. You see it better from the second replay. He just doesn't challenge for the ball whatsoever, just runs and watches Benzema come past him. This second replay shows it perfectly. Look at Gary Cahill there. Just doesn't even challenge for the ball. That was the guy I was in control with. Telling him to clear it, just completely ignored the ball, which, of course, as you might understand, coming into this one on the back of the previous uh, game kind of riles me up a little bit and I quite honestly kind of got a little bit blinded by rage and my game just went to absolute shit. David Luiz gets out muscled by Benzema here. Lovely ball over the top. Pedro rifles it into the back of the net and we go 2-0 down in the 43rd minute. We're actually going to come back up the other end again and uh, try and get ourselves a goal here. Suzoko's first touch apparently takes him 10 yards to control. I get tackled. He plays the ball up to Benzema. Into Pedro. Tackle him once with Aspi. Goes straight to Benzema. Tackle him twice with David Luiz. Goes straight to Pedro. Then missed the ball with the other defender. Slots in Benzema. Try and block the shot. Dive in. It goes over him. Get Beaten at the near poster with 3 0 down by half time. Oh, three goals in the space of seven in game minutes means that we we're uh, convincingly behind. Then I get a chance with uh, with Lucas. I was having chances the entire first half, by the way. I was dominant in this game as well. How Casillas has managed to save that, I've no idea. Lucas denied in the, at the beginning of the first half. We're again going to be on the attack and get caught on the ball here. For some reason, the uh, Luis Suarez there tries to control the ball with a slide tackle. Not really too sure why. Lobbed through ball again, can't get anywhere near him and he rifles it into the top of the net to make it 4-0 in the 60th minute. And then we're going to have a corner, 65th minute, going to have a header with Fellaini, it's going to be saved by Casillas low down. Can't get there with a the second man and he clears it, we're going to get another chance. So Ramirez is going to rifle it back into a Suarez shot, is blocked. So from that resulting corner again, Aspi is going to whip it in, up goes David Luiz, header off the bar. Can't get there with David Luiz again, Marcelo beats him in the air and he's going to clear it. And he, in fact he's going to race up the other end turn on the ball 
Ball through to Sergio Busquets. Ball over the top through towards uh, Tabby Alonso. Lucas obviously got the pace to get away from Tabby Alonso and then for some reason doesn't again five yards down the line. Tabby Alonso out muscles him, turns on the ball. He's going to square the ball. Cahill, the fuck is he doing right there? That's two mistakes from Gary Cahill. This time he did try and clear the ball, just completely missed it. And of course, Pedro's there to put in a wonderful, perfect first time volley with immense power underneath the goalkeeper to make it 5 0. And then this is the best one. Drogba heads it. Marcelo jumps up to head it onto the bar. It drops down. Won't fall for Drogba again. Falls to Ike Casillas. We stay 5-0 down. And then eventually we are going to get a goal. Uh, Willian dinks the ball over to Suarez. Nice turn inside the defender. And he is going to find the back of the net to make it 5-1. Another game that if you see the stats at the end of the game, which I'm going to show you, we completely did not deserve to lose. It went... Just everything went completely against me. You see the nature of the goals that he scored and the nature of the uh, the luck that he had at the back. 15 shots, 11 on target, 1 goal. Whereas he had 7 shots on target and got 5 goals. It was just completely, completely ridiculous. It's the first time that's happened to us this series. We just got absolutely wrecked. And uh, quite honestly, there was nothing I could do about it. While I was playing the game, everything just felt... Awful. I just couldn't defend or do anything. Fortunately, we get a decent pack at the end of it for that Luis Suarez goal. We pull a Philip Lahm, although obviously with a BPL side, he won't see any football at all. But it's nice to have players like that in the club. Perhaps I could put him on the bench and maybe bring him on as a, as an impact substitute. But that's going to bring this episode to a close. Unfortunately, we only maintain our Division 5 status in this episode and aren't able to get any closer to a promotion or the title out of this division. But we'll try that again tomorrow. And uh, that will hopefully provide um you know some better performances some more goals and hopefully some more points but i uh, i just couldn't record another episode after this one i was too angry i just turned the xbox off and went straight to bed so well that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy earlier on today there was a dortmund kareem episode that was an absolute belter europa league final that went all the way it was an extremely good game and uh, personally i think you'll really really enjoy it so uh, take that out if you missed it to the channel page for anything you may miss, miss whether it's this series that dortmund kareem series series or the my player series subscribe if you haven't we hit 16k today so thank you very much for that and i will see you next time